sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida has so much to see and do and we can't wait to show you some of our faves. It's also surrounded by adorable beach towns like Lauderdale by the Sea, Pompano Beach, and Hollywood. officially arrived in sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're staying one of our favorite ways, which is home exchange, this time with points. So when people stay at our house, we get points and use those to stay other places. This time's a little unique because we are taking care of a kitty and we do that with great joy because we miss our little kitty boy at home. So it's been really fun to meet Layla. I think she heard me talking about her. We're at Park and Ocean, which is part of this park. And the name of the park? Hugh Taylor Birch. Hugh Taylor Birch. Safe Park. Safe Park. It has this cute little bar and rental place for kayaks, um, paddle boards, canoeing, and hiking. Cute boy. Lauderdale by the Sea is the cutest little beach town with so much to do. It's located in the Fort Lauderdale area, just five miles north of Los Olas Boulevard, making it a quick drive up or even a bike ride, which we did. Main Street in town, Commercial Boulevard, dead ends into Anglin's Fishing Pier. It's currently closed for construction, but there's plenty of beaches to relax on right next to it. Right on the beach here is the Aruba Beach Cafe and we recommend their crab cakes. We also caught bands playing there both day and night. With so much to see and do in this cute little area, it's hard to even know where to start. Actually, why not start at the beginning of the day with a coffee or a tea? The Ella Coffee and Tea House started with two girls and their mom wanting to share the joy of their home with other people. Not only did we love their treats, but we loved the warm feel too. Andy and I were lucky enough to stay in Lauderdale by the Sea and we quickly learned there's a huge variety of yummy food. But even more fabulous than the food was the atmosphere. You could eat on the ocean and you could catch live music all times of the day. So tonight's our anniversary. I made this crazy scavenger hunt where I went to different people working at different shops downtown and asked them what their favorite food was because I wanted my husband to taste test strangers food and then we were gonna give them their favorite food back later when he came through. Andy didn't know it was a surprise for him but he is really sick to his stomach today so I just went back and gave the people their favorite foods. So just spreading some kindness for our anniversary. It didn't turn out as planned since Andy didn't get to see people's faces, but 
hey, we still spread some kindness and spread some of our love with other people. Sometimes the best plans just don't work out how you have in mind and that's okay. It's part of life, right? Thank you. <laughs> have a good night. <laughs> happen to live somewhere cold like we do <laughs> dying to get to these warm spots in the middle of winter more follow us and we'll give you more tips about traveling to warm places if you found this helpful we'd love for a thumbs up and say hey in the comments thanks guys biking is a great way to get around the area with so many things so close to each other hey guys we are gonna start at fort lauderdale by the sea and ride down to downtown Fort Lauderdale. We'll show you some of the views. Ah, where's Andy? There he is. Las Olas Boulevard is right in the heart of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's known for shops, for restaurants, and for entertainment, and I would say it definitely has a happening nightlife going on. Las Olas Ocean View Park is a beautiful place to relax, to hit the market on the weekends, and currently, there's a Toy Story themed pot putt going on there. To infinity and beyond! Did I mention you never know what you're gonna see in this area? Wanna fix you, baby? Come down, I come down. But if you could go for a more relaxing vibe, Pompano on the beach is the way to go. We're attempting to get on the Pelican Hopper. It's a free transportation shuttle in Lauderdale on the beach. And here's the beautiful car. Maybe we'll get a ride with him, who knows? <laughs> we'll see, it's supposed to be here any minute. 20 minutes later. some local reviews of people complaining there's not much to do in Pompano Beach, but if you just want to play in the water or chill, it seems like the perfect place to us. One way to get around the Fort Lauderdale area is by water taxi. It's $36 a day and you can even take it down to Hollywood for the day. In Hollywood, Florida, the waterway is the lesser known area where you can chill. You can do water sports, you can watch boats go by, you can rent all kinds of boat charters for the day. And lots of different areas of Fort Lauderdale have the circuit. Definitely check it out. It's a fun way to get around town for only a couple dollars. Here's a quick look at the Margaritaville Resort. It's right on the ocean with so much to do and a very popular spot to stay in Hollywood. The boardwalk area here has all kinds of bike and rollerblading rentals. They have restaurants, they have shops, and all kinds of entertainment, from the Margaritaville Wave Runner to live music and everything in between. And of course, while you're in Hollywood on the sea, you totally have to check out the beach. Actually, there's so much to do in Hollywood, we made a whole nother video about it. You should check it out after this one. Between Hollywood and downtown Fort Lauderdale is the Yellow Green Market. They have all kinds of things from fresh produce and nuts to clothes, plants, and tons and tons of yummy food. It's definitely a must do if you're in the area. We were told 
called one great spot for snorkeling was Latterdale on the Sea to the right of the pier. Unfortunately, the pier is out of order for now. It's broken. Um, it might be fortunate for us with snorkeling. We'll see. You need a diving flag if you're out more than 100 yards, so we stayed pretty close to the edge of the water. Have to admit, we didn't see a ton of fish, so you might want to join a group with snorkeling excursions. Clearly, we still had a good time, though. With shops of all sorts in the Fort Lauderdale area, we highly recommend you stopping in a few and checking out what they have. One of the things we love about riding the circuit is that it's open air while you're riding, so it feels like an adventure even when you're on the way to somewhere. You could definitely take days thrifting there if you wanted. There's so many thrift shops around. This was definitely... What was I thinking? Across the street from the Riverside Hotel is... Water taxi. got on the water taxi, I saw people with drinks, I'm like, that's a good idea. Well, turns out they sell drinks here on the water taxi, and there's even a restaurant. Who would have thought? What a cool way to hang out. There's actually so many ways to get around this area, and these are just a few of them that we saw. So is this your dolphin? Yes it is! Yeah, so how can people rent it out? Well, you can go on our Instagram, it's Big Fish on the Swamp, Miami. So you can rent it out, or you can just call our number. You will see it on our, on our Instagram page as well. Perfect! Thank you! <laughs> Those guys are so sweet. So did you know that those float ride not only on top of the water, but they go under the water too, just like you're a dolphin. I cannot wait to try one of those out. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, guys. Guys, that water taxi, the free water taxi, was literally my favorite part of our vacation. You've got to check it out. On the free water taxi, we found out that the downtowner here is the oldest restaurant here in Fort Lauderdale. So we had to check it out and the menu looks delicious. We'll see how it is. The green iguanas that you see everywhere in the area are not native to Florida. In fact, they're considered an invasive species, but we think they're cute. Unfortunately, the pier is currently out of order, but that might be... Phew. God bless you. <laughs> X, um, paddle boards. I believe they have bikes here. So much cool. Those guys are so sweet. Those guys are so sweet. Thanks for making it this far into the video. I just want to thank you um, from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me that you guys watch this video. And if you've watched others, um, getting to read your comments and make new friends from all over the world has been really life-changing for me. And I really appreciate it. Now go out and have a fabulous day, will ya?